Z13 is our new mainframe. It's been designed from the ground up to support enormous scale and data and transactions to support the mobile generation. When we design the system, right, we, we always make sure that we think about introducing new technologies in a way that will address the requirements uh, that our clients have, while at the same time positioning the platform for what's next. So whether it's cloud computing or analytics or new business models or new uses of IT, the introduction of mobile, uh, the internet of things are all driving a, a set of capabilities into our platform that require us to keep ahead of that as, as the industry moves forward. Several thousand IBMers pour their heart and soul into every single machine that we ship out the door. Uh, it takes years of effort and hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars of, of research money to, to, to produce. But in the end, every machine that we ship, by definition, is the most reliable, the most secure, and the most performant commercial system available on the market. The new Z13 is packed full of technology innovation. 22 nanometer cores, mega memory, dynamic multi-threading in each of the cores, advanced vector arithmetic processing, known as SIMD, FPGAs for fit-for-purpose acceleration of the workloads, enterprise data compression, both on the core and through accelerator cards. New advances in next generation virtualization and a state of the art cryptology with the new Crypto Express 5S card. All coming together to deliver industry leading scale and performance. We've always focused on a balanced system design. It's not all just about processor performance, right? You have to feed the beast. You get that from a combination of a balanced design between the processor, the memory, the, the cache structures, uh, which are very important to providing our performance and scale, and internal bus bandwidths and access to external uh, I.O. storage and network right, bandwidth. It's not about a single technology. It's about combining all these innovations. We're really pushing the system performance boundaries, you know, combining all these features and functions. At the system level, we have up to 141 configurable processors. Inside the processor, we can execute up to six instructions at a time, double the number from the previous processors. The Z13 offers double-digit performance improvement in single-thread performance and up to 40% more capacity in the same environmental footprint. We had to solve some pretty cool technical challenges, such as uh, this particular processor, the amount of on-die cache, cache memory on the chip, is more than double. So on a single frame, you've got more than four gigabytes of cache memory. We certainly have a lot more cores on the chips themselves. There's eight cores per die. For us to share that cache among the eight cores on the chip drives tremendous wiring requirements to get the request from the chip. Just imagine, on a chip this size, there's 13 miles of wire and almost 4 billion transistors. With Z13, we've put a full 10 terabytes of main memory in the system. In addition to that, we've doubled the caching structures to allow high-performance feeding of the engines. By increasing the amount of memory bandwidth and aggregate memory on the machine, that does a lot of things. First of all, for uh, transaction processing, it means response times are better. Your latency is a lot less. They're able to, to consolidate more and more physical servers into a single image. Because we have such a large pool of resources and manage those resources effectively, we can allocate those resources across the workload and, and keep utilization up and, and drive scalability in the platform like no other. With Z13, uh, we have the ability to scale up to up to 8,000 virtual machines on a single physical system. I think the best kept secret of, of the Z system is its I.O. processing capability. And I, I, would, I would characterize this system as an I.O. monster. We have customers with thousands upon thousands of I.O. devices, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of I.O. devices. So I.O. bandwidth is incredibly important for them. We have uh, Ficon Express 16S for better performance for their I.O. We've got 160 I.O. cards, which is a little bit more than your average server. Um, as you might imagine, that's 320 Ficon channels available to the customer. Each one of those channels has two PowerPC cores on them, right? So we're talking about potentially six, 700 cores worth of processing power just to drive I.O. That allows the, the core processors to do more work, right? And that is part of uh, what makes the, our system so efficient and uh, 
provides us the ability to drive utilizations up to near 100%, where other platforms right, are stuck at 30 or 40% because a single core of the processor has to do all that work. There is simply no machine on Earth that has in a single frame the amount of I.O. bandwidth and capability that Z does none. Additional intelligence in our I.O. subsystem allows us to route around congestion in the fabric and even route around air conditions without ever affecting the application. We've introduced two key new technologies aimed specifically at improving performance and scalability of our system. SIMD, which is Single Instruction Multiple Data, introduces vector processing in the platform to dramatically improve and increase the performance of computationally intensive workloads. It enables us to do uh, mathematic operations on much larger data sets than they might be able to before. We've also introduced the capability simultaneous multi-threading, which provides two threads of execution in the core. SMT will be enabled for certain types of workloads that can take advantage of the parallelism. We expect to get up to 40% additional increased throughput and capacity out of a single core, right, for those types of workloads. Z13 is an open system. Uh, examples include uh, Linux on our platform, Java, uh, JSON, right? Many of the languages and development environments and scripting languages that are pervasive now in building new applications, such as mobile applications. If you have Java skills, if you have Linux skills, if you can do application development out in the cloud, whether you use services, that can be transparent going back to the Z13. We have features and functions like ZOS Connect, ZOS Connect takes a state-of-the-art application development system like IBM's Bluemix and connects it to the back-end system of record through a set of standard APIs. We have industry leadership performance on Java in the previous generation of platforms as well. On Z13, we are enabling SIMD uh, instructions in the Java compiler itself, right? So where, where customers can get the benefit on the applications leveraging the just-in-time you know, just Java compiler. With this new platform, we're going to introduce uh, state-of-the-art next-generation virtualization with standard KVM and standard OpenStack-based management tooling to manage the virtual environment. And it's not just uh, at the software virtualization level, it's also at the PRSM level, the actual management layer that manages the logical partitions on the machine that has also been enabled with drivers for the OpenStack management tools. With the new system, we're taking our world-class multi-site disaster recovery capability, our dispersed sysplex capability, and making that available to Linux-only environments. The Z13 platform delivers integrated intelligence. A great example of intelligence in our system is our workload management capability. So instead of having system programmers and operational staff tweak all kinds of knobs and dials to try and get the system tuned. Our system dynamically adjusts and makes those optimizations in real time based on its understanding of the workloads. In addition to that, you can apply intelligence so that you can make the system more resilient. Our Z-Aware capability is a major advancement in resiliency analytics. It basically allows us to be able to spot potential problems in the system before they actually occur. And now this capability is available for our Linux environments as well. We've engineered Z13 to provide the highest levels of security available. So with Z13, we're shipping our next generation cryptographic coprocessing uh, uh, technology, and this enables people to handle a tremendous number of cryptographic keys and secure their data in real time across a tremendous number of sources. Additionally, security goes into every system that we bake. We're the only system uh, in the commercial world that is EAL 5 plus compliant. What's nice about encryption on Z is we have so many different levels of protection for both your keys and your data. So we give you the ability to do encrypt, decrypt, sign, verify. We also have master key management. So we have like this big, you know, data sets where we can store, you know, millions of keys um, that you can use in these crypto applications. You have the data encrypted kind of end to end. 
so that essentially at no point along this transaction can anyone actually get to the data without the proper key. One of my favorite features that's going into the next um, Z system will be format preserving encryption. I think it's a pretty awesome technology. You can actually encrypt the data in place. So it gives you the ability where you can actually do encryption, but not have to change your existing systems. So my job as part of the engineering system test team is to try to break the mainframe. But we're doing that towards making it a better and more resilient system for the customer. So in our thermal testing, what we try to do is take the machine up to higher temperature than would ever be seen in a customer data center. And we'll take the voltage and frequency and vary those within the uh, test as well. So now you've got a, kind of a worst case scenario where you've got high temperature, high voltage, low frequency, and will the processor still stay up? Will the machine still run? We have to make certain that no matter whether you've deployed your Z in the middle of the Mojave Desert or you've decided to do so somewhere in Alaska, these systems are able to survive in almost any environment so that their customers, no matter what happens on the, uh, within the data center itself, that their customers never see a blip. We do um, shock and vibration testing. Uh, we do tilt test where we actually tilt the machine over and try to see what happens uh, when that happens. Um, we also uh, do earthquake testing as part of our compliance testing. Here in this laboratory we can run any type of earthquake motion that has existed um, or has been measured. If a IBM mainframe can pass these motions, then it can be qualified for all the types of earthquakes that we may see and all the types of buildings that the mainframes may be in. IBM isn't interested in just pass-fail. They're interested in every little detail inside that mainframe. We go above and beyond testing with IBM because they want to take their equipment above and beyond what the code requires. The other part of the test area is primarily trying to emulate customer workloads much higher than even any typical customer would run. We can't even do that if we're just running the typical kernel or software like Linux or ZOS. It's almost impossible for us to stack it enough to break it. So we use our own our own kernel to do that. But we also inject failures into the machine. So we, we take, for instance, take one of the cooling units down uh, out, of, out of the system. It can automatically sense that that cooling unit has gone down. Uh, it will dial down the processor if it needs to to slow it down. If it's getting too hot, um, it will make a call and say, I've got a bad cooling unit, please come fix me. And then it will turn up the fan speeds. So, so it automatically knows this is what I need to do to stay cool enough to keep running at the highest level I can. That's what high availability is about. We have 24 by 7 support for our clients. Whether it's an operating system or the hardware, we have many, many different types of error checking built across the system to prevent the system from ever having a problem. Our commitment to continuous, reliable operations extends to the delivery, the deployment, upgrade and service of our systems for our clients. The design of the system is such that you can upgrade that in eight hours or less. We can transparently do that, move the workload, roll a new system in, have the new system up and running, move the workload back, and the system's running. For Z13, you'll see on the front covers that we've carried forward with the geometric shape. It's a real cool look. And the covers themselves, they offer tremendous functionality from the standpoint of airflow management as well as uh, acoustic attenuation. As we get very dense and from a footprint standpoint, there is a fair amount of heat generated, there's a fair amount of airflow that takes place. To make that more efficient, we've actually redesigned the, the rear covers for our system. And we've allowed those to have the airflow vectorized. They'll either vector up or vector down. So we've actually designed the rear cover to have that flexibility to be configured on site. The new Z13 pushes the boundaries of computing so that businesses can innovate without constraint. The P3 
people who work on Z absolutely love what they do and they absolutely love the machines that we build and we're always very excited to see what our customers are capable of coming up with when they use it. I'm Isha Powers, I work on mainframes. I'm LD Stevens and I work on mainframes. I'm Terry Chopra and I work on mainframes. I'm Kelly Ryan and I work on mainframes. I'm John Torak and I work on mainframes. I'm Bruce Hill and I work on mainframes.